All right, uh, Dad Randy here. Uh, I am at the bike park again today. But today I'm gonna do uh, another site survey uh, of the building progress on the new school. But I am gonna use a proper site uh, surveying tool. Uh, we're gonna use the Air 3S and check out uh, some the, prog <clears throat> the progress with a much better uh, video quality so we get a, an accurate look at where the progress is at this point. All right, I'll be right back. All right, uh, back, I uh, had to do a little uh, location modification because uh, there's a lot of kids in that area. This is a much bigger area, bigger landing zone, bigger takeoff zone, um, not a through area, so less traffic. There's a lot of people here, but But uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna hit the uh, the, the school and look for look for uh, progress at this point. Um, I can see that they're putting they're skinning the building and it looks like they're putting windows in. I'm just looking to see how how they're uh, progressing on the exterior. It looks like they're moving pretty fast because that thing has to open next year. So they are yeah. So we should be good. All right. Um, now I, I, I only brought in one, I only brought one full battery for the Air 3S. Um, this thing is such a beast that I only will need one battery today. <laughs> it's just an absolute flying beast. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get it in the air and get, uh, get functioning here quickly. All right. Make sure we have the all clear. Make sure there's nobody in our uh, flight path here. We've got a good view of the controller. Let's go ahead and get sunglasses off. The one thing about the RC2 is it's so it's so useful. You can use it for a lot of different platforms. So we're just trying to race the sun right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get her spun up. And it should be quiet. And remember the uh, uh, this this aircraft is uh, super smart. Our, our, our video is going to be absolutely amazing today. Oh wow, it's already amazing. That's the one thing, the RC2 is such a step up from the original RC. I was flying the original RC yesterday with the, with the Mini 3. I actually thought about bringing the Mini 3 out here. Um, and I have flown pretty much a couple of different FPVs out here. But uh, we're definitely gonna get what I want is the images of school construction at this point in time the record for the for the uh, books so we got a really good shot right there and let's go ahead and move in a little bit we're gonna get some really good angles right here The sun is actually not too bad at this point as well. But yeah, the Air 3S I've had now for, is uh, pretty much since launch date. Um, I got it through Canada. I had no problems uh, importing it into the United States. It was uh, quite simple. I've looked at a lot of big projects with this, uh, one inch camera so this has the one inch camera sensor and it has the secondary one over 1.3 uh, i hasn't flown much i haven't i haven't done much flying with this uh with this bird so, so what we want to do is we want to get some images of the front of the face of it as it's being um, finished so we're gonna let's go ahead and get some some close-ups here. And with the one inch, we can zoom in. Get some really good shots. 
can see that we don't have any windows yet. It's uh, the, the roof of the school is all done. Or the roof of the gymnasium, they finally got that on. That was They were working on that two weeks ago. So that looks pretty cool. It's starting to take shape. I've got a, one of the things is the, is the, the lower mezzanine, um, uh, the entrance, uh, they're, they're still working on putting uh, trusses on that. But you can see there's quite a, uh, there's, there's quite a lot of progress, that's for sure. Now that lower, you can see that lower building right there. You see that wall up, that short wall? Um, that area there is, is one of the areas that I've been watching right next to the gym there. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's classrooms because of the, the height of them and the location. Lower classrooms, I'm thinking that's uh, industrial tech because it's close to the, usually the industrial tech areas are usually right next to the parking lot. So deliveries can be made. Um, there's a lot of coming and going there. Uh, so. That's uh, that. Let's go. Uh, let's go up, and uh, let's go out. So I'm gonna get out, up, get a much larger image. Uh, I'm in normal mode. I'm usually flying in cine when I'm doing this type of shooting. So we've got the construction crane there, and yeah, they're still they're they're uh, they still getting closed the front of that gymnasium, but they got all the the walls up, and they've completely enclosed it. Let me see if I can get around to this side. Yeah, they put up that last concrete wall there. So these are poured on the ground. Um, they basically pour them and then they stand them up with that big old crane there. It's a really cool process. All the buildings are naturally uh, insulated with uh, concrete and rebar. So it's a great building uh, instruction technique for schools. You can really slap up a school fast and make it energy efficient, that's for sure. And we're keeping, uh, keeping your height pretty low. Not a lot of activity on going on today, so uh, occasionally, there's some activity going on over the weekend. All right, let's, uh, let's speed up our let's speed up our circle here a little bit. Just want to get a good look at it, and then I'm going to pull back a little bit just to see if there. Yeah, there's some more walls down there being poured. So if you wanted to, if you wanted to understand how they pour these these walls, now right there you'll see those long concrete walls that looks like uh, they're pouring a slab that's actually those are actually those are actually walls and you can see where the door frames are and the window frames they're really like I said really interesting construction so they build the frames in and then they pour into that so they actually it's not they're actually getting ready to pour you see all the rebar in there so the walls are completely I mean it's literally built uh, to withstand hurricanes I mean <laughs> I mean it's a great construction technique and all of the schools now are built that way. So if you want to look at a school that has that same instruction, it's right next to it right there. That, that was one of the first using uh, that technique right over here, this, uh, this high school here. But what a beautiful shot back. Here, let me, uh, let me, let me get clear of this construction crane. I just have to make sure I'm, I'm, there's nothing behind me. And the great thing about the Air 3S is I've got 360 degree obstacle avoidance. I want to get the uh, Red Mountains in the background as I'm doing this construction shot here. Do a little crabbing here, and do a little uh, skirting of the, of the site, do a little uh, reverse reveal. But uh, really cool. Like I said, I, uh, when you're doing this kind of view, you know, we're not doing any penetration flying, we're not flying into anything. This is uh, this is the way to do it. So I'm going to take a. I'm actually going to take a photograph here. Turn that off, and we're going to get this in photo mode, and we're going to take some really. We're going to take some shots here. Uh, 
let's see if I can do a, I, there's really no traffic here, there's not any clouds moving, so to do a, uh, to do anything else like a, like a uh, hyperlapse is not something that really, <laughs> you really can do here. It's just that the lighting isn't good. I, I missed the, I missed the opportunity yesterday to, to, to hit it with, uh, with, uh, get across the street here. To hit it with uh, good clouds and things like last night would have been a great time, but we're getting good light. It's really definitely lighting up the, so we can get that there. So there we go. We get some great pictures of it there. Uh, let's get it, let's get it because one one of these days the school next to it, uh, the middle school or the middle school next to it, the old one will be gone. So let's get the site survey while there is still a middle school there. Let's get it all in the image. Let's get that wide angle shot there with that in the background. Okay, let's go back into film mode and finish it up. Uh, we're, that way, like I said, we can literally uh, loiter over this site forever because of the, uh, let's, do a little, let's do a little site fun here. Let's go back into film mode and then we're gonna go out. Let's have some fun with the area, do a little uh, area search here. Let's go, go out to the, out to Shack, which is the uh, water park out there. The Get some images of the uh, of that's very interesting building. A lot of new building going on. And this uh, this is not a new building. This is this building here is over 20 years old. I think it's like maybe 20. Uh, it's it was it was pretty new when I first came in. So it's older. It's been here longer than me. Um, let's go here. Let's get into Cine. So we're doing a little bit of we're, we're, we're speed. We're a little bit fast here with some of our movements. So we just drop into the Cine here and get that better in. So that's the shack right there, and that's uh, Olympic size swimming pool. They use swimming a uh, uh, high school swimming and it takes place there. None of the none of the schools have swimming pools. This is basically a community pool. Uh, and then there's the shot back of the school. This is actually a really cool shot right here, showing you all the new building going on in the area. And, and we can also get a tighter shot of that. Let's flip over to camera three. Um, let's get the uh, great, greater shot. So pretty cool, That those are some neat photographs of this area. There's absolutely, uh, and not a bad time of the day to do it. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, we're at 62 percent. This thing can—I literally can fly for uh, for uh, way too long. I'm already almost 20 minutes in. So let's go ahead. Let's get video going. I'm not even videoing here. All right. So if you're uh, if you're gonna come in and visit, you'll come in Sunset, which is this road way over here. That one out in the distance, right there. We can we can take up a lot of ground. And uh, either way, you can come in, and you can see you can bike trail all the way from Sunset. There's the bike trail down there. There's the trailhead, and you can come in at the fitness uh, fitness uh, place right there. And there's my coffee shop. I'm going to be going to in just a minute. All right. Okay, let's rotate and return. I'm sure you're loving that shot. Back. All right, like I said, we can loiter for days with this thing. So, so all right, so dead random, right? Now we could do auto return. This thing can literally land right in front of us. It'll miss everything. It's a uh, auto functional beast. Um, we can set it into. Uh, we can put it into smart return and. our smart return. I love it. Return path. Um, and it's returning at 100 feet. I mean, it literally will hug the ground. It will do, uh, it will return over trees. It'll go around buildings. It'll do whatever it needs to do to get back. It'll go underneath this pavilion I'm sitting at to land. But I will turn, I'll get it out of uh, auto return. It's a little annoying. I don't like listening to it. Um, plus, I gotta keep. 
uh, keep control so we don't uh, inter interrupt uh, anybody's day here. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel the return here in just a second and come in a little bit more covert than that. Um, but I was up here, if you want to look at the park, I'm going to get a total view of the park there. There's the pavilion, down there is pavilion um, 2. Now, I don't know which one was built first. But that's the one there that's really nice to FPV right there. It's a nice spot. Nice shady spot. So if you got a bunch of kids, you can uh, you know camp camp there. Uh, you got electricity if you need to charge stuff. You've got bathrooms. Really a nice area. All right, I'm gonna send it back here. And uh, we're gonna come in for a landing. is always the one that lands in your hand. All right, so hopefully you liked the video today. I, I uh, um, just did mostly sight video. I didn't do, um, I didn't do much screen recording today. Um, the purpose of it was to get images of that, so I'll cut it up quite a bit. You won't see the entire flight. Um, but you'll see the important parts. You'll see the, the building in a really good high resolution, and that's kind of what the whole purpose was today. But they're right. Uh, so Air 3S, uh, if you are um, contemplating a, a Mavic 4 purchase, uh, I don't think I would spend the money. Um, uh, I, 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 I definitely want to fly the Mavic 4, and I do believe that it um, is definitely worthwhile if you're that kind of pilot. Um, but as far as flight time, battery time, um, as far as usefulness, um, uh, you're going to get j everything that you get out of that and much more. Some people don't like uh, certain things about the photography you, uh, you can do with the Air 3 system. They don't like, uh, say, um, uh, limitations to photography, but I really don't. I don't see that. Uh, I think if you're a good editor, um, you can really pretty much take care of any, you know, short uh, shortcomings that this thing basically would provide. But a uh, great platform, worth every penny of what I spent for it. Um, and, you know, it's a great value for what it can do. I mean, it, uh, you know, loiter time is just insane. I mean, I only used half the battery for that flight. And I got everything I wanted. I got area shots, I got uh, close-ups, I got photographs, um, I got uh, moving shots, all the moving shots that I could think of and want. So, all right. And of course, the RC, uh, RC controller 2, which uh, is absolutely amazing. I didn't even use the hyperlapse feature. I didn't, I, well, I did some zooming. Um, I did do a, a, some, some camera ch uh, switches, some, uh, some angle switches, some depth of field switches with the 24 and the 70 millimeter uh, uh, views. Um, but all right, dead random. Here we go. Uh, Air 3S by by DJI. It's uh, you know if you can get one, I would go here before I would go with a Mavic and spend three thousand dollars at this point. Where you can get a hold of something like this, just piece it out, part it out. You know, buy it with the the cheaper controller, get the drone, buy the battery separate, and get the whole kit together. Um, take your time on it and you'll spend less. So, all right, later. Have a great Saturday. And I think I'm going to fly tomorrow too, but I'm flying FPV tomorrow. All right, later. Bye. Dad Random. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. If you like this content, make sure that you uh, leave uh, some comments and um, let me know how you think. Uh, do you, what do you think of this area? Uh, what do you uh, what do you want to know more about it? I can give you some details. Maybe throw a Google Map, map location down for you. All right, later. Bye-bye.